So a couple weeks ago, I did a video kind of blasting Lyft for their recent rate cuts. Uh, in my market, personally, our per mile rate was cut by nearly 50%. And a few hours after that video went live, I actually personally received an email from someone with Lyft Corporate. Think it was just a coincidence? So the day that we posted our video, I received an email from a Lyft employee who works as a manager on the driver success team. And as you can see, they reached out to talk about the rate change. I wasn't sure if they had seen the video or not, but I personally wanted to talk to someone about the rate cuts, so I took them up on the offer. So that Friday, I had a conversation with a few Lyft team members. The call lasted about 30 minutes, and in it, I basically conveyed to them that even though they added the pickup pay, so we're getting paid when we're en route to a passenger to pick them up, they slashed the per mile rate so much that it looks like a rate cut and that's how drivers are interpreting it. So why did they make this change and what did they say? Uh, they told me that the, one of the biggest complaints that they get from drivers is inconsistent earnings. So they wanted to change the pay structure so that we were being paid for more of our time. I do feel like they were being honest, but I have no idea how they came to the conclusion to cut the per mile rate by nearly 50%. Um, I told them that over a two week period, I was tracking my earnings and then on average, they were down 10% uh, compared to the old rates. They seemed really disappointed that that was the experience that I was having and that it was not their intention to cut rates. So they then asked me what they could have done differently and I told them that they need to improve their system. I shouldn't have to decline a ride that is that comes from 10 miles away because I personally know that within a few minutes, within a minute, I'm gonna get a nearer request. The system should know that. They need to improve their system. And a quick side note, after driving exclusively for Uber for the past two weeks, their system is a well-oiled machine, at least here in Minneapolis. Requests are a lot nearer. I'm not being rerouted as much as I was when I was with Lyft. Uber seems to have a much better algorithm and Lyft's engineers need to try and achieve that level of efficiency. But if Lyft is telling me that this isn't a rate cut, then I'd like to see them put their money where their mouth is and guarantee that drivers will make the same under the new rates as they were under the old rates. And if not, they should pay them the difference. But they refuse to do this. So I think it's fair to take what they say with a grain of salt. And lastly, to finish off the call, I told them that I had been nearly exclusive to Lyft for the last three years and that the next week I had to go back to Uber because these rate changes were so bad. They seemed really disappointed in my experience and told me that they hoped to win me back. Okay, so then that weekend I was contacted by the local driver advisory council member who's located here in Minnesota. Uh, we met for lunch that week and he told me that he was the one that sent our video, the, the rate cut video, to the Lyft team members. He thought the video was well done and expressed a lot of driver's pain points. So that's how Lyft saw the video. That's why they reached out to me. I wish they would have been more honest and just told me during the call, they didn't tell me this, but I wish they would have told me during the call that they saw the video and that's why they reached out. He also told me that drivers should be more careful for what they ask for. Drivers asked Lyft, they complained to Lyft that they wanted more consistent earnings. So then in turn, Lyft makes this change, but this doesn't give Lyft an excuse to cut the per mile rate. Lyft should have known more, should have known better, had better data and not made a, a terrible decision like this. Drivers are not to blame. He also told me that these changes were made to incentivize drivers to accept all rides, to accept the rides that are further away. This was never mentioned to me during my call with Lyft corporate. I wish they would have told me about this. Um, and this, this is not good, like especially for drivers on like a weekly ride challenge bonus. Like don't incentivize drivers to accept these long way requests. It's, it makes it more difficult to achieve that bonus as quickly as possible. And lastly, he told me that Lyft won't make any changes until they have enough data. So these rates are here to stay for at least the foreseeable future. All right, so then later in the week, he sent me a text letting me know that he had had a call with Lyft corporate and that our video on the cuts was a big help. He told me that drivers were being heard for whatever that's worth. So then that weekend, Lyft sent an email survey to drivers asking about the rate changes. I for one completed the survey and again conveyed how brutal the rate changes were. So there does seem to be some action and data gathering being done on Lyft's part, but I still have no idea how they arrived at the decision to cut the per mile rate by nearly 50%. All right, so as far as my personal thoughts, these rate changes should, if they haven't already, affect Lyft adversely by losing a lot of drivers. Lyft is gonna take their time and gather data on these changes, and in that time, they're gonna lose a lot of drivers to Uber. I personally switched to Uber and my earnings are back to normal. I have absolutely no reason to give Lyft rides anymore, but maybe Lyft is gaining enough new drivers that this driver loss won't matter. And in the markets that they did make the cuts, the revenues have to be way up. But what can drivers do? The main thing you want to do is stay informed, educate yourself. If Lyft sends out a survey like this to you, answer it. 
send them messages, um, let them know how bad these rate cuts were, and also make sure you're educated on which company you can drive for and make more money. Um, in most markets that these rate cuts were made, you're gonna wanna drive for Uber. The rates are just vastly better. But what do you guys think? Uh, was Lyft trying to make earnings more consistent or did they see this as an opportunity to increase their take? And have, have any of you quit Lyft completely like I did? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.